Hello, my name is John Guess, founder and CEO of JHG Photography and Films and co-founder of Do Vision Television. Over the past few years, we have generated over 80,000 post views and over 30,000 video views on Facebook alone. Our clients' good works are getting noticed. We created this platform for small businesses, entrepreneurs, artists, and other organizations who would normally not have a platform. If you are a small business, artist, ministry, or organization that needs commercial work or an event covered or would like to create a platform and cannot afford thousands of dollars for advertising, contact us today via email or 984-389-3283. New Vision Television, where your dreams are our priority. Here you get to experience the journey. You get to feel the journey. Here's some of the setbacks, but see how we can all overcome. Here you'll get to experience the book cover reveal. You'll also get to take part of the actual book signing. I thank New Vision Television for the opportunity. I thank you guys for watching and sharing this footage. And all I simply want you to do is to roar. The DG McGee Special, coming next on New Vision Television. You are now watching New Vision Television. Stay tuned for the DG McGee series. Finding your roar was an experience, some things that I had to go through to get to where I am today. I had to find my roar by any means necessary and that's all that I simply want for everyone else. This is my debut as an author of Finding Your Roar and my exclusive interview right here on New Vision Television with Kimberly A. Guest. Welcome to The Woman I Am Today. I am the host, Kimberly Giz, and we are here in Durham, North Carolina at the Sheraton Imperial. I am sitting here with Miss Dion McGee, affectionately known as DG McGee of DG McGee Motivates. She's also the co-founder of Bang & Bangles. So we know her as a speaker, a businesswoman, a coach, and now an author. So, DG, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are? Thank you, Kim. I wish I could really sum it up in, in a few words, but what I can say is that uh, Dion is evolving. Uh, she is growing and has grown over the past 20 years. And sometimes I say to myself, Are we really going to do this? Like, this is really happening. But... Um, in a nutshell, I think you summed up um, the most the the most significant parts of it, but people don't know uh, the backstory. Doing what I'm doing now, people do know me and recognize me from Bang Bangles. We have taken taken a brand from two to. 35 plus people that have learned and we've coached to them to be entrepreneurs in that. But it has been phenomenal. My daughter and I started it back in 2013. I thank God for it. Um, my sister, who is a millennial, Alexandria, pushed us into doing this. But that's what people, that's how people identify me as Banging Bangles. But what they don't know is the other layers, if you will, to um, to Dion and to me. And it is speaking, coaching, consulting, and as you say, now uh, author. And before we ever had the business for Bangles, I was always a speaker, but people don't know that side. And that is where I found my true passion. I love people. I love to impact people and impact their lives. And that was how bangles took off. I honestly don't sell bangles. I build relationships. 
and, and it just went to a whole nother level. Did I ever imagine having 30 some odd distributors? No, didn't cross my mind. Did I ever imagine speaking, turning into coaching? No, it's the doors just opening and evolving into other things and other parts. So I'm thankful for it. Did I ever <laughs> think about being an author? Absolutely not. I did. So I can did. you provide us with a backdrop of the book? People that have the drive that I have can't function well with mediocre people, right? And they were intimidated by my drive and by my passion. So the backdrop to the book is about me and the struggle and the things that I experienced. What I experienced was racism. What I experienced was genderism. What I experienced was um, ageism. I experienced a lot of things I'm over the ism. So what the book is about is about those that are in leadership, the struggle and the sacrifices that we make in, a, in leadership. The book is about those that are trying to find their voice, that thing that makes them tick their why. And in doing it, sometimes God will disrupt some things. I say that God will disrupt some things to put you where you're supposed to be because we may not be moving the way that we need to move. And that's what happened to me. And the story has to be told. Well, I was angry. I'm just going to be flat out honest. I was angry with God until I realized what happened? That is what I learned in writing the book and finishing the book. That this ne wasn't necessarily the enemy. God allowed this to happen in order for me to catapult to where I was supposed to be. Was I supposed to be speaking? Yeah, I was speaking. I felt like I was doing it, but I wasn't doing it the way he wanted me to do it. I was playing with it. He thought, oh, you want to play? I'm going to disrupt your everything. And you're going to do what I want you to do, how I want you to do it, when I want you to do it. So in that 15 months and looking back, I said, my God. You did this. You allowed this to happen because I'm like, I'm doing everything that I feel like I should be doing as a woman of God, as a mother, as a wife. I'm trying to impact lives, this, that, and the other. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to just be a blessing to people wherever I can. How could something like this happen to me? And then I had that aha moment. I said, okay, God, I see you. I see you. Now, everything that we go through is not necessarily the enemy. Sometimes God allows stuff to happen to push us to where we're supposed to be on the other side. So we're asking God for this, that, and the third. If we just do what he said, do in the beginning, I probably wouldn't even have gone through all the stuff I went through. And, uh, and so now, huh, no more playing. No more playing. Game on. Game on. <laughs> You are now watching New Vision Television. Stay tuned for the DG McGee series. So I'm excited about that. So the um, the book cover reveal came from a space where I was talking to my girlfriend on the phone, Mika, and this is my mastermind. So I have a, a whole tribe of people, you know, because you're part of the tribe, right? Whole tribe of people that push and believe in DG McGee Motivates, that believe in DG McGee Enterprises and are excited about the things that are about to happen. But just in a simple conversation with her, I told her, I said, listen, I honestly feel like in writing this book that I gave birth to a child. She said, really? I said, really? That's how painful it was. You know, when you're having a, having a child, we eat crazy stuff. We go on binges, all kinds of can't sleep, can't this, can't that. You know, eating nonsense, doing nonsense, all this kind of stuff. Those are the things that I experienced in writing this book, right? So I said, but the book signing and the book launch is what I would consider the baby shower, okay? I said, but what is it that other people have in this era when they're having a baby? She said, what? I said, they have a gender reveal party. 
Okay. She said, yeah, she wasn't getting it right. She said, yeah. I said, follow me for a second. They have a gender reveal party. We're going to have a book cover reveal party. Okay. For those that are near and dear that believed in this thing when I didn't even want to do it. Okay. Book cover reveal. We're going to reveal the title. We're going to reveal the cover. We're going to give um, some more um, backdrop, more color to the book so people will know exactly what the book is about. So what I am doing at this moment is dropping nuggets, if you will. You got the first nugget, girl. You got the first nugget. So I'm dropping nuggets all the way up until the 24th. After the 24th, we'll drop more deeper nuggets that leads us into the actual book signing. So it is just, it's been a blessing. So when you think of the woman you are today, what comes to mind? When I think of the woman that I am today, what comes to mind is strength. And, and strength comes from trials and tribulations. The things that we go through only make us stronger. They only make us better. They only allow us to catapult to the next place. So in going through all that I went through, now that I'm on the other side of it, it was nothing but my faith and my strength in God that allowed me to be in the place that I'm at right now, period, period. DJ, thank you for joining me, sharing this time with me. Thank you. Your journey and your experience with our followers. Yes. Guys. We will see you next time on The Woman I Am Today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. The beta copies have arrived. What a magnificent day. That is going to be a momentous to us. And I say us because I'm sharing this with you guys. Today's day that my beta books are supposed to be here. Okay? I'm praying. I need y'all to be praying. I'm scared to open the mailbox, like for real, because this is going to be really, really crazy. Okay? Oh, God. I see yellow. I see the yellow. Uh oh. This is my Uh oh. to change you have to address it i'll say that so i thank god for trusting me with trouble i thank god for allowing me to be in the fire i thank him um for allowing me to come out the fire and i thank god for being in the fire with me bringing me out with no no singes no smoke still intact better and stronger than what i was before now we are approaching the book cover reveal event the book cover reveal is simply an event to share with those that are near and dear that believed in dg mcgee enterprises uh even before there was a book so very intimate event for family and friends I'm so proud of you. I don't know a lot of people that roll with you. You walk down here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so proud of you. I'm 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 so proud of
go next shift to the rest of 2019. But please, he intervened for the turnaround. This segment has motivated, empowered, and inspired you in some way, shape, or form. Regardless of what it is that you're going through, please know that this shift is here. Suddenly, he intervenes, forcing a turnaround. This is your time. This is your season. Keep roaring. It's DJ McGee signing off, and thank you so much for watching. Hello, it is DG McGee here at Dress for Success, one of our corporate clients, getting ready to go in and do our workshop on managing change and expectation in the workplace, right? A lot of us are transitioning back into the workforce. We have to reacclimate ourselves with the way the industry has changed and how we look for jobs and how we look for opportunities. Sometimes it is difficult for us as women getting back into the workforce, be it family issues, take a leave, to take care of family, whatever it is, we need to make those changes and expect to be relevant, expect that we have a value to add to corporate America. Those are the things that we're about to talk about. Those are the things we're about to address. We're going to get to the nuggets. We're going to laugh and we're going to learn all at the same time. I am excited to be here today to motivate, empower, and inspire these ladies today. If you need coaching, consulting, or training on any level, please reach out and send an email to info at dgmcgee.com. Thank you. It's DG McGee, speaker, coach, and consultant. For our services, please reach out at info at dgmcgee.com. Send us a simple request. We'll be glad to chat with you about your upcoming opportunity so we can come to your corporation. Thank you. My name is John Guess, founder and CEO of JHG Photography and Films and co-founder of Do Vision Television. Over the past few years, we have generated over 80,000 post views and over 30,000 video views on Facebook alone. Our clients' good works are getting noticed. We created this platform for small businesses, entrepreneurs, artists, and other organizations who would normally not have a platform. If you are a small business, artist, ministry, or organization that needs commercial work or an event covered or would like to create a platform and cannot afford thousands of dollars for advertising, contact us today via email or 984-389-3283. New Vision Television, where your dreams are our priority.